Hi, I'm Mike Darnell. The article I'm presenting is Do Violent Video Games Trigger Aggression? Written by Ms. Melinda Wenner Moyer in 2018. Ms. Wenner Moyer's article is primarily focused on introducing a meta study by Dr. J. Hull and colleagues claiming that allowing children and adolescents to play violent video games is linked to an increase in their aggressive behaviors. Ms. Wenner Moyers also provides opinions contesting Hull's assertions as being inconclusive and based on studies plagued with methodological problems. Ms. Wenner Moyers' article ends by confirming the conclusion presented by an earlier article from Thomas A. Quimmins in 2004, Effects of Video Games on Aggressive Thoughts and Behaviors During Development, published by the Rochester Institute of Technology, that more study into the effects of video games on aggression is needed. I chose this text this text because as the father of children who love playing video games, I am particularly interested in the impacts their playtime may have on their attitudes and development. And I found this text interesting because despite the fact that it was written 14 years after the Quayman's article, it still concludes very similarly, stating that still more study is needed. I enjoyed this article because it, prom because it prompted me to think. It's an indisputable fact that due to Moore's law, the processing power available to games in 2018 was 50 times what it was in 2004. One could argue that any effects violence in video games had in 2004 should have been amplified by 2018 as more processing power made new levels of gory realism possible. And yet that's not been the case. Hall and his colleagues were unable in their studies to meet even the minimal requirements of 0.1% normally needed to establish effect size in psychology. In conclusion, I recommend reading Ms. Wenner-Moyer's article as a good example of how some scientific controversies tend to pop up every few years, fail to reach resolution, and finally slip into dormancy only to resurface as a new generation of researchers comes of age. Thank you very much for your attention.